Hey YouTube, uh, this is Edward, and in this video I will be showing you how to set up alternative keyboard layouts on your Mac. So as you may or may not know, uh, the QWERTY keyboard is not the most efficient keyboard layout. Uh, it was designed when typewriters were still used to avoid jamming. And of course, that's not really a problem for most of us, because we're not using uh, typewriters anymore. So it's not the most optimal uh, keyboard layout. So we can change this by first going to System Preferences. See, I have it saved here on my dock, but if you don't, you can easily go up to the Spotlight and search for System Preferences. Once you've done that, you want to click on the Keyboard option. It's on the second row. And then from here, you want to click on the Import Sources tab. And from here, you want to click on the plus, uh, this icon on the, the left corner. And then click on English, and then import one of the uh, layouts you want to add. Uh, Colmac and Dvorak are the most popular. So I'll import both of those. Okay, so that's actually it. And the way that you can change your keyboard layout is either by going up to the top to the, the flag up here and then manually clicking either Colmac or Dvorak or whichever keyboard layout you've um, imported or by creating a shortcut. So you can click on the shortcuts uh, tab, going to import sources, and then changing one of these um, keyboard shortcuts. So you seem to do that by clicking on the, um, the default um, key keyboard shortcut, and then entering a new one. So maybe I'll do, I don't know, uh, command 8. So now if I want to change my keyboard layout, instead of going up to the top here, I can do command 8, and it'll alternate between my three keyboard layouts. Alternatively, you can import custom uh, key keyboard layouts. So for example, I'm learning Colmac right now. It's actually, uh, compared to Dvorak, it is, there's more of a balance between the, the your, hand, your two hands. So there's a more, more balance on the workload, so it's um, better for um, kind of hand health. <laughs> and also it's less changed from the QWERTY keyboard layout. So it's, some say it's an easier uh, transition from the QWERTY keyboard layout. So in my process of learning this, I've, uh, actually I haven't been using it myself, but I've heard some others use this layout called Tarmac. So basically the idea is that you gradually change your keyboard layout, um, slightly changing a few keys at, at each, at a certain amount of time, um, until you eventually get to the complete Colmac. So anyway, here, um, someone's generously posted a set of files here of different Colmac transitions. So I'll download that. I'll show you guys how to import that. So I'll leave a link to this description. I'll, I'll leave a link in the description to this uh, file here. So you op you'll download the file, unzip the folder, unzip it into a folder, and then you see there are four keyboard layouts. So the way we import this into the system is open up a finder window. We go to File, New Finder Window. And then we need to navigate to our library. So we can get to that by going to Go in the navigation, then uh, Home. From here, we'll go to Library. And then search for Keyboard Layouts. So let's see, where would that be? Alphabetic order, we have Keyboard Layouts, and we'll drag in the uh, keyboard layouts that we downloaded, like so. Okay, now we can go back to System Preferences and go through the same process. Let's see, Import Sources, we'll add, and then we have our Tarmac options. So as you can see, uh, you can kind of preview how they progressively get closer to the Colmac. So I've been had, uh, you can you guys let me know what your experience is with Tarmac and Thanks. Please subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and more videos will be to come. Thanks. Bye.